So, learning goal for today is doubling at the bow. Now, I'm going to run through a question so you can see what it does. The idea behind doubling at the bow is being able to find the distance to an object that you've spotted. Okay, let's take a look. A boat is travelling on a bearing of 340 degrees true at a speed of 24 knots. At 10 o'clock, it sees a lighthouse at a bearing of 10 degrees true. At 10.45, the angle at the bow has doubled. Uh, the angle at the bow has doubled. That's not going to make a lot of sense to us right now, but we're going to go through this so we can see what happens. Okay, first of all, we're going to draw our diagram. Let's start with our boat at 10 o'clock. Here's our boat at 10 o'clock. And it's travelling at a speed of 24 knots on a bearing of 340 degrees true. You're going to find this much easier if you've got a protractor. So, we've got our north line up here and it's travelling at a bearing of 340 degrees true. So it's travelling along this blue line here. That's the direction our boat's travelling in. Now, it also says, at 10 o'clock, so where our boat is right now, it looks and it sees a lighthouse at a bearing of 10 degrees true. So from this point, someone looks out and they see a lighthouse at 10 degrees. So again, we need to get the track out. Okay, there's north up there, there's my 10 degrees. Just change colours for this. I'm going to use green for my sight line so we can see that our lighthouse Now our lighthouse is somewhere along that green line uh, We're not going to put in where yet, it's just somewhere along that green line uh, This is a pretty good start to our diagram uh, We need a bit more in this diagram But while we're here Let's talk about something called the initial angle at the bow. Now the angle at the bow, for those of us who don't know, the bow is a front of a boat. So if our boat is going in this direction, and we want to know the angle at the bow of the lighthouse, it's the angle between this line and this line. Now that's pretty easy for us to figure out. Now remember this is a bearing of 340 degrees, which means that that's going to be 20 degrees in there. And remember that this is a bearing of 10 degrees, which means that that's, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 degrees true, which means that that's 10 degrees in there. That means that that's, this whole angle is 20 plus 10, it's 30 degrees in there. That's our angle at the bow. Uh, let's continue drawing our diagram. Now, at 10.45, our boat's moved further along this blue line. Um, I'm just going to pick a spot. At 10.45 our boat's moved along that line and it says at 10.45 the angle at the bow has doubled. So initially our angle at the bow was 30 degrees. That means that when we get to here our angle at the bow will have doubled. So our angle at the bow will be double 30 which is 60. So again taking our protractor we'll put this here you can see there's my 60 degrees, angle at the bow, oops, sorry, recap, our angle at the bow is 60 degrees. So when you do this bit, start here, start with your three, your zero line here, and the angle at the bow, move from there to 60 degrees, now that's better. There's our angle at the bow of 60 degrees. That means that at 10.45, our lighthouse appears right there. Now we know where our lighthouse is. There's a complete diagram. We found the initial angle at the bow. We've also found the angle at the bow at 10.45, 60 degrees. Now that we've done that, how far did the boat go between 10 o'clock and 10.45? Now it was travelling at a speed of 24 knots and remember that distance 
equals speed times time. 24 knots times 3 quarters of an hour, 45 minutes, that's going to equal 18 nautical miles. So that means that the distance along this line from 10 o'clock to 10.45 is 18 nautical miles. Now last step here, the reason, the reason we were doing this whole doubling at the bow thing was because we want to know the distance at 10.45 from here to the lighthouse. Now the reason doubling at the bow is important is because if you create this angle and then you double the angle here, you create an isosceles triangle, that is a triangle with two equal sides, here, here and here. So if we know that that's 18 nautical miles because we've been measuring our speed, we can also say that this is 18 nautical miles as well. That is, these two, these two lines are equal. So there we have it. If we travel along here, the distance between us at 10.45 and the lighthouse will be 18 nautical miles, the same as the distance that we travelled in the beginning. That's doubling at the bound.